All right, so today I'm going to show you the power of frequency separation, the effects or the benefits of frequency separation in Photoshop, what frequency separation can actually do to your image, how frequency separation can transform your images into better images as a retoucher. Yeah, so that's basically what we're going to do today. My name is Okori Dio. Welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Let's dive right into the video and then start editing. But before that, kindly like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me, right? So let's just dive in and then just start editing right so we have our image over here so first and foremost we're going to create a frequency separation adjustment layer i'm going to show you how to create the frequency separation adjustment layers how to get the settings right to make sure images is, are looking great and then yeah so that's basically so let me just let's let, let's just start let me just create uh, duplicate the background layer twice one and then two so so we're going to change this to color and then we're going to change this to texture all right so we're gonna just select the color layer come to filter blur gaussian blur and then we're just gonna drag the settings or the radius to a, a position where you don't see too much details in our image right so i think 4.3 is doing it for me so Let's just set it to, yeah, 4.5 is much better. So I'm going to keep it at 4.5, right? So this is the first thing that you're going to do. You're going to blur or you're going to create um, a blur layer. Yeah, that is for the colors, right? So you're just going to come, once again, I'm just hitting it again. So you're going to come to blur, Gaussian blur, set it to 4.5 and then select OK. So we're going to come to the next step. That is the texture. So we're going to, select texture so what this one is going to do is it's going to separate the texture on our image into a separate layer so that's what we're going to do over here so we're going to select it make it visible like this you're going to come to image apply image so you're going to change this to color the light the layer over here you're going to change this to color you're going to change or keep the channels to RGB and we're going to change the blend mode to subtract like this you're going to keep the opacity at 100 the preserve transparency you're going to keep it unchecked and then the mask unchecked as well so the scale over here you're going to keep it at 2 and then the offsets at 128 All right so these are the settings you're going to use to create your texture layer so you're going to select OK from here then now we're going to come to the blend mode over here as well select here and then keep this at linear light as you can see our image is back to where it was before so as i was explaining earlier what the texture does is going to separate the textures of our image on a separate layer and then the color also keeps the colors on a separate layer we're going to edit this separately right so that's one of the things you can do with frequency separation so right, let me let me just quickly group this i'm going to select or uh, hold the control and then select these two together and then control g to keep it in a group and i'm going to change the name of this group to fs meaning frequency separation all right so i'm going to open this up like this i'm going to select the color layer so what we're going to do right now is we're going to work exclusively on the colors all right so let me just zoom this in zoom out a little bit more all right so we're going to select the color like this zoom in like that so we're going to use the next step is we're going to use the mixer brush tool to do this right i hope you're following so i'm going to select the soft run brush yeah then we're going to keep this at clean brush you're going to deselect this one you're going to select this one you're going to select the custom and you're going to keep the weight at 19 percent load at 16 percent mix at 31 percent and then the flow at 48 percent and then keep this at 10 percent i'm using the 2018 version of photoshop by the way just to make you know right so i'm going to zoom in once again so make sure the color layer is selected right so now we're going to yes brush so you're going to smoothen everything up like that so you're going to take your time and then just brush
So as you can see, you always have to make sure you are brushing within the tones. Don't spread the mid-tones to the highlights and the highlights to the mid-tones and then the shadows to the mid-tones and the shadows to the highlights. No, that's not what you're going to do. You're going to just maintain the tones as they are. Don't mix them up. Only mix the colors within the range that you are editing, that you are retouching, right? Yeah, so let's just go ahead and then just mix it up like that. So you use the open and close bracket key to open or to increase the size of the brush as you are editing. So you're just going to keep brushing. The process is sometimes a little bit slow. But then, you know, just take your time to do this to get the best effect. When you rush it, you're not going to get the best effect. So I always advise that you take your time when you're brushing to get the best effects. So right now I'm zoomed into the image and I'm just making sure I'm getting the details right. Yeah, but later on, I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to make sure I'm getting the whole thing blended up perfectly. Right. So. This is cool. Uh, by the way, I downloaded this image in um, Dirty Studios. I don't know if I'm getting it right, but then, yeah, that is to you online. If you want this settings done for you easily, you can just check out my online store to download it. That is the frequency separation adjustment layer. So I already have it in an action form. So it's just one click. It's going to click on it once and it's going to play everything out for you easily. So if you want that, you can just check out my um online store and then just download it and then just use it for your projects you can use it commercially anyhow you want to use it you can just use it yeah i'm going to speed this side up and then i'll be right back when i'm done with this process All right, so I'm done with the details now. So let me just zoom out and then let me do the, the Let me just try and blend the whole thing in. As you can see, there are some inconsistencies on her forehead like this. So one mistake that a lot of people do is they forget to zoom out to check how the overall image is looking. Because when you're zoomed in, there are inconsistencies that you're not going to see. Yeah. So my advice, one of the advice that I mostly give to people is always try and then zoom out and then cross check what you've done to make sure everything is blending in perfectly. Because when the image is out there, it's going to be zoomed out. Maybe the person is going to see it in a thumbnail form before it's going to zoom in to actually see the image. So always make sure you zoom out to check and cross check your image again to make sure the tones are all evened out perfectly before you proceed to another step yeah so as i'm doing over here i'm just going to zoom out like this let's check and then just increase the brush size and then just mix everything into each other perfectly to make sure it's looking seamless and perfect yeah the forehead is a little bit tricky most of times because it's smooth and flowing in one direction or like one direction to the other so when you don't take care of that, it's going to just make it kind of hard for you to get that kind of perfect seamless look that you want. So just take your time over there at the forehead and then make sure everything is blending into each other perfectly. So now with the face down, let's move to the body as well. So let me move to the neck first. Let's move from the neck downwards. Frequency separation is the only thing you can do this with. You can also do it on a flat image, but then the effects are not as great as doing it with frequency separation. 
Yeah, it gives you the power to control the textures and then the colors of the image, the tones on separate layers, which is very good for a pro retoucher. Let me zoom in once again. Let's try and then check out the textures. Let's remove the unwanted textures on the face that we don't like. So I'm going to zoom in like this. So you're going to come, you're going to select the texture. We're going to select this spot healing brush tool over here. Then now we're going to work on the textures. So you're just going to brush. It's going to dab on any texture that you don't like on the image. Like you can see over here to simply remove it. And that's one advantage or that's one of the superpowers of um, frequency separation. The power for you to work separately on the textures and then on the colors and tones of your image. Yeah, so you're simply going to go in just dab and then just clean up your images like this, your image like this. So guys, this is basically what's the retouching. This is basically the powers of frequency separation and this is what frequency separation can actually do to your image and then how it helps you get or separate those tones and then work on them separately. I hope this video was educative. I hope this video helped you out. If you like it, kindly drop a like for me and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye for now.